Good morning, everybody. How are you all? Today, we are going to talk about finding the ex exact value of y, which is a trigonometric expression. So without further ado, let me share my computer screen with you. Oops. So I can remove that. Find the exact value of y, where y is equal to cosine inverse cosine of 5 pi by 3. Okay. So we can do... So first we will solution. First, cosine of 5 pi by 3. Okay. So if we express pi in 180, this is cosine of 5 times 180 degree divided by 3, which is using our calculator cosine of 300 degree. So how do I find cosine of 300 degree? I will go to my calculator and uh, then make sure I'm in degree, so cosine of, I press the cosine button and then 300, okay? And that will be equal to, uh, let me make sure my calculator is in degrees. So, uh, Okay, so cosine of 300 degree can be written as cosine of 300 minus, I mean 360 minus 60, okay? This makes the angle in the fourth quadrant. This angle, 360 minus 60 is in the fourth quadrant, is in the fourth quadrant. where cosine angle is in the fourth quadrant where cosine is positive. So cosine of 360 degree minus 60 is equal to cosine of 60, which is equal to half or 0.5. Okay. So our problem boils down to y. y is equal to cosine inverse. Cosine of 5 pi by 3 is half. Okay. So that means which translates to then cosine of y is equal to half. Okay. And cosine of y equal to half. Okay, and that is equal to cosine of 60 degree or equal to cosine of pi by 3. Pi is equal to 180 degree. Okay, so y, so cosine of y is equal to half. So that means y is equal to pi over 3. So your final answer is y equal to pi over 3. So what are the steps I took? First, I expressed cosine 5 pi by 3 in terms of angle. For pi, I substituted 180 degree. So 5 times 180 degrees is 900 divided by 3 is cosine of 300, which can be written cosine 360 degree minus 60. Now that puts the angle in the fourth quadrant. So you go 360 degree as the full circle. So this is full circle is 360 degree and then you take off 60 from there. Uh, my drawing is not good. So let me draw a better diagram so that you understand what is going on. So basically I went starting from the first quadrant to the second quadrant to the third quadrant and then I went another 30 degree. 
Okay. So this angle is 30 and this angle is 60. So cosine of 300 will be cosine 360 degree minus 60 degree. Okay. Cosine 3. So I'm going in this direction. Okay. 360 degree minus 60. So I'm looking interested in this angle. Now in the fourth quadrant, we know it is all sine, tangent, and cosine. So cosine is positive in the fourth quadrant. Okay. So cosine 360 degree minus 60 is same as cosine 60, which is half, which is 0.5. So my y is equal to cosine inverse half. That means cosine of y is equal to half, which is cosine of 60 degree. Therefore, y is pi over 3 or 60 degree. Okay. That is your final answer. I will stop here today. If you have any question or comment, write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you like this video, please share with your friends. If you like my video, please come back and visit my channel and subscribe to it because you have solutions to all kinds of problems. In trigonometry, algebra, uh, you know, calculus you have all kinds of solutions to all kinds of problems so i'll see you next time with another interesting problem interesting solution if you like this video please share with your friends and subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button i'll see you next time with another interesting problem take care have a nice day